Criminal mastermind movies do not just conclude without enacting cases involving heists. And let's not deny the fact that the way that these crimes are portrayed in our favorite movies strangely play a great factor in adding spice and overwhelming amount of excitement to them, right? The way robbers meticulously plan out the crime, the jaw-dropping instances of seeing the enormous amount of money and other possessions that robbers lay their hands on, the moments of frustrating brawls between authorities and the criminals, and the mind-blowing execution of robbers in finding unbelievable escapes and breakouts are just some scenes that hold our breath unintentionally. We may only see how impressive they are on screen, but some of the most legendary heist films root from intriguing real-life scenarios and events, even from centuries ago. And as technology advances, the gimmicks and ploys that robbers make use of also have adapted to infiltrate the tighter and more rigid security settings, perhaps proving how stinkingly skillful robbers tend to be. Hello everyone and welcome to Tenzone! In this video, we'll be seeing the 5 most impressive heists that history is able to record. But before we get to the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future updates. Number 5. The French Termite Tunnel Apparently regarded as France's crime of the century, which took place in 2010, the Termites Tunnel gave a huge blow to the French media when news of a bank heist in the historic Credit Lyonnais woke everyone up in the dawn of the 31st of March. According to reports, at least 22 million pounds of cash and jewelry were stolen after 200 safe boxes were emptied. What makes this heist impressive is the fact that this amount of money and jewelry was stolen only by four men who reportedly were wise enough to gain vault access through digging in a neighborhood cellar. It was also appalling that the gang was able to break through the cellar walls without creating any noise and vibrations, which suspectedly went on for several days without getting noticed by security. Investigation by the police also pointed out that breaking the vaults open were leisurely done based on how neat they were, and no signs of rushed blast was seen, which made them conclude that the gang was using pickaxes and flamethrowers to break the 31-inch walls of the vaults for several hours. These termite-like robbers made sure to destroy pieces of potential evidence by setting off sprinklers in the basement, which almost left the police with no proof. Number 4. The Train Robbery of 1963 If you think that robbing a train is impossible, well, apparently, on August 8th of 1963, a group of 15 thieves proved to the public that heists can happen anywhere and in any time, and even if it's in a moving train. After ambushing a train heading from Glasgow to London, the gang successfully manipulated the train's track signal in order for it to stop in a completely remote location. This heist was surprisingly executed smoothly by unarmed robbers who literally did the job barehandedly, but according to reports, they managed to knock out the train driver before escaping with over 2.6 million pounds, which is approximately equivalent to $61 million as of today's worth. They escaped into a hideout which later was unfortunately found out by the police, and while most members of the gang were prosecuted, the money stolen had never been recovered and returned to the rightful owners. The most impressive and shocking thing about this heist is the fact that although the masterminds of the heist were sentenced to a 30-year life of imprisonment, some of them were surprisingly placed in a pedestal after committing a heinous crime, such as Bruce Napoleon Reynolds who worked as a consultant for a movie that was released in 1988 and eventually published a book in 1995 entitled The Autobiography of a Thief, The Man Behind the Great Train Robbery. Number 3. The Collar Bomb Bank Robbery Typical heists that we normally know of are those involving robbers wearing awfully decorated masks, dark-colored bonnets, and long rifles across their chests. But this heist we'll be dealing with next is so unique that we can't just leave it out of our list. On the 23rd of August, 2003, a middle-aged pizza delivery man by the name of Brian Wells walked into a PNC bank in Erie, Pennsylvania, not with rifles or sharp knives in the hands, but with a ticking bomb locked around his neck. Although this robber was more immense than the usual ones, it was quite evident that Wells was not made for the job. What kind of diabolic robber would pass a teller a note saying, quote, gather employees with access to codes to vault work fast to fill bag with $250,000? you have 15 minutes, end quote, instead of just screaming at everybody at the top of his lungs to induce terror. Anyhow, he fled after getting the money handed to him, but unfortunately was caught by the state troopers after 15 minutes. It was at this moment that the other side of the coin was tossed when Wells screamed that he was forced to do the heist and that the bomb around his neck was about to go off. The disposal squad was not even just five minutes late when the bomb started beeping and blew up, blasting Wells violently onto his back and ripping a 5-inch gash in his chest. 
When further investigation was conducted, a two-foot-long cane, which turned out to be an ingeniously crafted homemade gun, was found in the bomber's car. The bomb itself was likewise a marvel of DIY design and construction, and investigators could tell that it had been built using professional tools. The tale only gets stranger from here when it led investigators to the dead bodies hidden in freezers. This is absolutely not just an impressive heist, but also a terrifying one. Number 2. Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum Heist Museums are also a notorious location for heists, next to banks because of the extremely valuable possessions housed in them, apparently. This can be attested by the event which took place on March 18, 1990, when two thieves dressed as Boston police officers entered the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum and stole 13 works of art while the entire city of Boston celebrated St. Patrick's Day. The stolen and missing work, estimated roughly at $500 million total, were intended for a permanent display of the museum and was originally procured by art collector Isabella Stewart Gardner. No arrest and no work have been recovered, making it as one of the most impressive unsolved mysteries in American crime. But the FBI believes that the robbery was planned by a criminal organization considering how flawless it was. Although the hunch was highly strong on the authorities' side, the case lacked strong physical evidence. They primarily have put focus on the Boston Mafia, which was in the midst of an internal gang war during the period, while other accounts suggest that the paintings were stolen by a gang in Dorchester, though they have strongly denied involvement even after a sting operation put some of them in prison. All have denied any knowledge or have given leads that were fruitless, despite being offered reward money, reduced prison sentences, and even freedom if they gave information leading to the recovery of the art. The museum is offering the largest bounty ever offered by a private institution of $10 million reward of the information leading to the recovery of the art. Number 1. Millennium Dome Raid Where else can you conduct heists other than places packed with expensive items and a go-to of highly notable and wealthy individuals, right? This final heist in our expose happened in 2000 when London had finished the construction on catastrophic waste of money known as the Millennium Dome, the famous Millennium Dome Raid. The heist was basically an attempted robbery of the Millennium Dome's diamond exhibition, which occurred on November 7, 2000, in Greenwich, southeast London. The local robbers planned to ram-raid the D. Beers diamond exhibition with an explosive smash and guns blazing to seize items on display, including the Millennium Star, a flawless 203.04 carat gem with an estimated worth of 200 million pounds and considered as one of the most perfect gems in the world, and escape by Thames in Speedboat. Unluckily for the robbers, their close-to-perfection plan was averted by the flying squad of the Metropolitan Police Service, who had coincidentally had them under surveillance for a few armored car robberies. The operation to foil the robbery was the biggest operation undertaken in the flying squad's history, and at trial, the judge in the case condemned the way it was carried out. If it turned out differently and the robbery heist had succeeded, then it would have become one of the biggest robberies in history, with a haul of 350 million pounds worth of diamonds. So what do you think of the five most impressive heists of all time? Let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Do you know of any other cases that we should have included in this list? If you're new to the channel, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future updates. Until next time.